So the baby boomers uh, usually have been getting a lot of press just because there were so many of them. That's correct. And now, now, Jerry Mills, you're going to tell us that there may be a tsunami of problems coming as a result of baby boomers. Yes, well, we, it's well, well known that there are about 78 million baby boomers. And what's not well known, Pat, is that they own, according to John Leonetti, an author who wrote a book on exiting your business, that they own about 12 million businesses. And that over the next 10 to 15 years, they're going to be getting rid of those businesses. And uh, uh, about 8.5 million of them are going to go to third parties. And so we're going to have this unusual transaction. This has never happened in the history of mankind where we have so many people not only retiring but so many businesses exiting. And let me, let me put it in perspective if I could. Uh, Inc. Magazine has recently said that there are about 27 million businesses. So that means that the, wow. about, about a third of them are going to change hands over the next 10 to 15 years. And this isn't the best time in the world for that kind of volatility. No, it's not. And, and the other part of the tsunami is these businesses statistically, Pat, employ about 48 to 50 million people. This is going to affect a lot of lives. Yes, before, by the way, you begin uh, taking any kind of sedative, uh, I promise you that this isn't going to be all bad news. Jerry Mills is founder and CEO of an organization. I want to make sure that I get this right, not because it's terribly complex, but because I want to make sure that everybody knows that it's B to B. Uh, and uh, as founder and CEO of the organization, you're here to tell us about that too. That's correct. Well, it's B2B CFO, business to business CFO. We mm -hmm. put C chief financial officers into businesses is what we do. And actually, I happen to be one of these businesses that we're talking about. I'm in my mid-50s, and I'm the CEO of a successful business. And, uh, and, and here's the situation. Uh, historically, Pat, um, only about 20% of businesses that want to sell are successful. And, and so what we're looking at in this tsunami that I'm calling it, we're looking at about 80% of about 7 million businesses that employ these tens of millions of, of people, that if they don't do things correctly, they're not going to be successful at, at, at exiting their businesses. And, and the, B2B CFO can help? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yes, we can. Um, what, what we want business owners to do is to focus on what they do. And, 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 and as you, as you uh, well know, because we have this, this, this large number of businesses that are going to sell, <clears throat> there's going to be actually fewer buyers and more sellers. So the law of supply and demand is a little bit sure. skewed. So what we want to do is we want them to focus on what they do well, which is to build their business. We want them to improve their business, uh, mostly with a focus on technology. And B2B CFO and other companies like us, we can help them. But he here's a key. If you, if you want to, to sell your business successfully, like we're talking about these baby boomers, what they should do is they should uh, have a long-term plan, maybe five to eight years, uh, to be able to sell their business. And Pat, they need to hire somebody or be associated with somebody that has no strings attached. Uh, most businesses uh, that say, I, I can help you sell your business, for example, uh, have, have products that they want to sell. Uh, they'll say, for example, Pat, I'll help you sell your business, but you need to buy this very large insurance policy. Or, or so you, you understand what I'm talking about. And There's they're a advertising, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, in the newspaper, radio, television. Those people are saying, if you're in trouble now with this, let us help you. And boy, I'll tell you, that's like the trout and the hook. Yes, and, and what these uh, baby boomers are doing that own the businesses, they go they flock to these seminars and, and they, do, they do get uh, hooked in because what they're good at is they're good at their business, these, these business owners, but they're not good at selling business. That's a, a complete different transaction. And another thing that's interesting about all of this is historically, uh, 30, 40 years ago, what would happen is a, a business owner would build his or his, her business and then they would train uh, a son, a daughter, a grandson, a granddaughter to take over the business, sure. right? You've, you've seen this. And, and then what would happen is the son, the daughter, the grandson, the granddaughter would create a note and buy the business over a long period of time. Now, what's happening today is the, the second or third generation, uh, Pat, uh, they're not interested in taking over the business. 
they want to do something else. You, you understand what I'm talking well, about? Well, sure, absolutely. And, and uh, that's a part of the changing uh, dynamic that is American business. But if I'm a small businessman today, and I do want to make that kind of change by way of the success of my business or the sale of my business. If I come to you, what do you do for me? Well, what I'm going to do first do is I'm going to uh, look at the infrastructure of your business to see how good it is and what needs to be improved, and we're going to create a plan to get it, make it better uh, because we're going to have a lot of competition when we sell that. The other thing that we're going to do is look at prospective buyers. Uh, one, of the, one of the interesting things about this, the prospective buyer may be the, empl the employer's employees. They may want to buy that company. Hmm. Uh, it's called an ESOP. It's actually a fairly, fairly simple transaction. And, and so what we want to do is we want to say, okay, let's, let's improve the business over a period of time. Let's look at our prospective buyers. Okay, who are they? And, and uh, it, it may be the employees, it may be a key employee, it may be a competitor. Who are those people? And what do we have to do to fix the business? To, it's almost like painting a house and, 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 and fixing, fixing it up, if you would, to make it to where it has value to, to a buyer. And the last thing we want to do is we, want, we don't want to do this at the last minute. We, if, if we're going to retire 10 years from now or 15 years from now, we don't want to wait till year nine and say, okay, I'm going to sell the business. No, no, no. We want to start now. We want to start improving it, especially with technology. We want to improve the technology of the business. Uh, again, it's, we're going to have more competition. Just millions and millions of these businesses are going to be sold, so we're going to have a lot of competitors. And if you do it successfully, obviously it's good for the business, it's good for Arizona, and it's good for America, particularly these days when you're talking about, as you say, the tsunami that's coming, that's the, the baby boomers. And if you are one of them and you also have a, a small business to sell, uh, may we tell you, as we just have in digest form, about B2B CFO. That's how to get in touch with them, and you found out about it on AZTV, the McMahon Group.